The variator of the second generation radial CVT is presented here. The input shaft drives three radial shafts via an input bevel gear system. Each radial shaft includes a driven radial floating roller contained in a radial positioning unit. Each radial positioning unit also includes two cam followers on each side which engage two spiral cams via a cam cavity. The radial position of the radial positioning units and thus also the rollers determines the ratio. Each cam cavity includes a top and bottom cam, each engaging a cam follower to allow the radial positioning of the radial positioning units and thus also the rollers whenever the spiral cam is rotated. The two spiral cams are driven on their respective toothed rims via the ratio adjusting system gearing which is powered by any suitable positioning system via the ratio shaft. The complete second generation radial CVT is presented here and includes a variator, a front disc unit, a rear disc unit and a clamping unit. The front and rear disc units each include a bevel ring gear and thrust bearing and a flat traction drive face. The clamping unit includes a number of composite compression springs housed in a structure which in the assembled second generation radial CVT locates the thrust bearing of the front disc unit, while on the other end the compression springs act against the radial CVT casing. The thrust bearing of the rear disc unit, which also includes the output shaft, is located in the radial CVT casing. In the assembled second generation radial CVT, the front and rear disc units are clamped under the spring force of the compression springs, with the flat traction drive faces in line contact with either side of the traction drive rim of the rollers, creating a total of six line contact traction drive interfaces between the front and rear disc units. The traction drive rims protrude above the respective cam cavities and beyond the spiral cam face to drive the respective discs. Above six traction drive interfaces present six parallel power paths, while each front and rear disc unit transmits the power of three interfaces or 50% of the total power. The front and rear disc units are coupled together via idler bevel gear mating with their respective ring gears, while the two disc units rotate at the same speed in opposite directions. The radial CVT is enclosed in a two-piece casing with dimensions as well as general specifications above. The latest radial CVT test setups and results are presented here, peaking at 94.7% efficiency. Current development includes the introduction of a pure mechanical loading cam controlling the clamping force based on torque. The effect of this loading cam is simulated to drastically improve efficiency at partial loads.